Oh there. So we're doing the southern uplands today. Three of us out today. That is Scots Wild Camper and Walk with Wallace. So we're heading up a wee Donald today called Dollar Law. Uh, should be a good camp. Uh, southern uplands are always good. So can kind I of look forward to this one? So there the lads there. We abandoned farmhouse there and caravan. Robin was just in there exploring it. Tins of beans in that. Aye. Good wee shelter for you for an emergency. It's a, it's a filmmakers club. Here we go. That's YouTube. Really it's a filmmakers club. YouTube club. The YouTube club. Seen better days. <laughs> That's what I say. That's what I say. <laughs> seen better days. <laughs> Stunning day. So that's us, we've been walking maybe an hour, an hour and a bit. Just come up that glen there, as you see, up by the old ruin. But uh, now we're, the hard work starts now, heading right up this hill. You can see Eddie, he's just up there. So I'll catch up with him, I'll see you in a bit. Be a look about, we are Mr. Wallace here, say hello to the camera. Right, troops. Yeah, here's Pikeston Hill over there. That's the last camp I done. No, Telling a lie, I was out there after that. Are you out uh, with me, were you know? I was out with yeah, Scots the... Wild Camper. Say hello, Scots Wild Camper. Hello, hello Scots Wild Camper. <laughs> <laughs> so, we're going to make our way back up this hill, get to the top, get pitched up. That's the first hill in a while. I tell you something, I'm blowing out my arse. That's hard going. So I was just approaching the top. So it takes maybe two hours or something to get up here. But very little wind, which is perfect. So we're looking forward to get a tent set up. Chill out, cup of coffee, something to eat. So, there's a cairn, a trig point. Just there. So we'll find the pitch around about there. <coughs> ah, so that's us, summit of Dollar Law. This hill's been a wee bit of thorn on my side. I've been at hills around about it and I've just never come out of this one, so it's good to get it done. So, there's plenty of areas for pitching here. Like I said in all the other videos, you can camp on the top of any one of these hills are magic. So we'll get the tent pitched up. Three amigos eh? The three amigos. Oh, law. Perfect. 
T shirt weather, eight hundred odd meters and we've got a T shirt on. For a few dollars more, eh? <laughs> For a few dollars more. T shirts on because it's July. Aye, <laughs> nice summer camp. Uh, still a bit of snow and it's June. <laughs> So that's how it's all pitched up. So I'll give you a wee tour of the campsite. So here's Eddie with his red Hilleberg solo. I've got one of these myself. Great tents. Uh, ready at the back there. Got my big socks ready for the night. <laughs> He's got dry socks. feet this time. My storms and suspenders for the night. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Robin and his Lanshan. Pro One. Lanshan Pro One. The drones in the air. That's the police. <laughs> and I brought the big boy out tonight. I've got the Hilleberg Alec too. Great tent for me and the dog. But she's sadly she's not here today. She wasn't allowed out to play. So the trig point, so we're camped at 817 metres and there's no wind, well there's a slight breeze but it's nothing really so it's a bonny night for a camp so uh, that's Pikeston Hill over there that's a, one of the hills I camped on before so I'll put a wee link up to be able to see that I'll swing around again into South Lanarkshire Coulter Fell, camped on there as well and behind there you've got Tinto Hill which is my local training hill and you swing around there and you can see there's something fired in there probably the head up and you get Broadlaw which is a Corbett I can't mind the name of the one next to it here's the campsite here well folks we're going for a hike we're going to do a couple of tops over there uh, I can't mind the name I think we're going to Dunlop what's the name of them Robin? Well, now it's Craig. Calmort Craig, I've done it before, so I'll take a walk over with Robin, but there's a couple of wee tops here I can get in the bag as well. So we've got plenty of time for the campsite, so we've got a break dancer here. Just caught him, look. <laughs> <laughs> so as I was reaching Cramalt Craig, 831 metres. It's a bit higher than the one we're actually camping on, actually. So Robin's just approaching the, the big cairn. I've been up here before, uh, up a few years ago. Alright folks, that took us 50 minutes to get across here. Goodbye. That's us back at the camp now. It's cool doing a wee bit. Uh, that was 6.3 kilometres we done there. Took in a few tops. Uh, you can see Eddie and Robin in the background there. But, uh, don't know what the sunset's going to be like. A bit of cloud over over there to the west, southwest. So I'm just having a coffee. <laughs> Three cappuccino. Mm. Temperature's dropped now. It's a wee hot coffee just, just to aye, get some heat back in the body. <laughs> Cheers. One of the first channels I came across was Murray. <laughs>
big band of cloud there, so I don't know if it's going to affect the sunset. You just see the pink sky there. All well, the tents. Robin and Eddie. Broadlaw. Cramlock. Craig. And the view to the south, but you can't really see much with the, the cloud. Right guys, we've all retired to our tents. It's getting a bit chilly out there. Uh, I mean, quite a lot of stars at the night, but the clouds coming and going. So I've set a time lapse up and we'll see how that goes. But nothing else to report. So basically, that's us to breakfast time. So I'll catch you later. That is 20 past six. And check that out. Is that not stunning? I think sunrise is around about seven o'clock. But uh, you can just see it coming up over the the cloud inversion. So I've got the trig point here. There the tent. Moonstar lit. Right. This is uh, jackpot morning, so it's been brilliant, makes it all worthwhile. Trapped to minus three through the night, but uh, there's no wind so you're not really feeling it. Eh? Sun's up, troops. Just messing about with the drone there, having a bit of crack with that. Got some good footage. So, across there, the sun has just come up above the Cheviots. And swing around this way, you can actually see the Lake District. That'll be all the Solway Firth. And back around this way, uh, you've got Tintle Hill, Kilter Fell, Chapel Gill Hill, inside the big cloud inversion. So nearly breakfast time. Get the porridge on the go. Well guys, that's us all packed up. All ready to go. The cloud inversion's still in place. It's all looking stunning. So we're just going to walk over another couple of hills. You'll probably not see it in the sun, but we're heading down there. So, as always, leave no trace. As you see. Past that big campfire there. Aye. Uh -huh. Out of shot. So, I was ready to go, Robs. Aye. Uh -huh. Hey, bother. Let's do it. Ready? Yeah, let's do it.
Let's get to. Can you see the, the clouds spilling over the hill there? That's absolutely stunning today. You can't beat this. Hey right, folks, that's the first Donald of the day. The green law or something. Uh, 643 metres. A bit lower than the one we camped on last night, which was 817, I think it was. So, we better pull up there. We'll be up then there's one more after that. Greenside Law, that's us at the top now. A sheep skull marks the summit. So we're just about to head into this inversion, then come back up the other side of onto Black Law. That's the second hill of the day, and the final one, and then we'll be making our way down to the car. That's us back out the cloud, guys. Hard going going up that. I can tell you something, the hill fitness is suffering. Aye. Tough going coming up here. So we're just heading up black, black law, shouldn't be long now to get to the top, maybe 20 minutes or something. That's the last hill of the day now, it's all downhill. So that's the summit there in front of us, black law. It's 698. There's two tops here, there's one at 696, which we stopped at, we get caught out there, so this is the summit up here. Then we'll be skirting down the edge and taking that path. Just see a wee bundle of stones there. This is the true summit. We get caught out. There's two wee tops. This one's two metres higher. Mm. So that's us there. That's more like it. Boom. So in front of us, there's Dollar Law. That's a hill we went up last night for the camp. Uh, that was the highest hill of the trip. But we walked right round that ridge. Uh, it's just a big horseshoe, eh? Yeah. Plenty. Plenty of kilometres. And the boys coming down. Hey guys, that was a fantastic camp. It's sunsets, star trails, inversions, sunrises, you name it, we had it. Uh, absolutely fantastic. Top notch. Bagged three, three Donalds. So the car's just down there. So I'm going to end the video here. So I hope you enjoyed that one. And I'll catch you on the next one. Cheers.